Hey everyone, welcome to the Renaissance Savant. My name is Keith and today we are talking about propagating African violets, focusing on the trailing African violet. First, we're gonna to touch on two very common methods of propagating African violets that work great on producing single rosettes or, or single crowns. Then we're gonna really dial it in on the third method, which is great for producing multiple crowns. All of these methods work really great, but one of them is going to give you multi-crown plants more quickly. All right, let's jump right into it. The first method that I'm gonna to briefly touch on is called leaf propagation. Okay, first I'm gonna show you leaf propagation. I'm gonna take one of these leaves and I'm gonna snap it off. And I'm going to um, first sterilize my instruments because that's what I do. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the leaf. So I've got my leaf. I'm going to go ahead and um, Cut the leaf off at about um, half an inch is how I do it. Inch, half an inch, half an inch. There it is right there. Then I apply rooting hormone to the bottom of the leaf like that. Just a dusting of it. And I shove it right into the potting mix. And that is uh, leaf propagation, I label it. We're gonna wanna water it in a little bit. So I've got a little bit of water here and I actually don't water around where the cutting is. I just uh, water around the edge and um, this little plant is ready to be uh, set aside and uh, babies will form right where the cut was. With leaf propagation, you can uh, place your uh, little cut leaf into a cloche if you wish. That uh, seems to help some people with uh, humidity. Isn't a problem in my uh, plant room, but uh, if it helps you put it into a little cloche and let it sit in that cloche uh, until you see those sprouts. You can also use a Ziploc bag. This method of propagation for me takes about five weeks and um, I get some pretty good plants this way. The second method that we're gonna talk about is called sucker propagation or side shoot propagation or uh, crown propagation, uh, whatever you wanna call it, it still produces a single crowned uh, African violet in the beginning. And uh, we're gonna sterilize our equipment, of course. The potting, uh, mix I use, it's just 50% black gold organic uh, African violet mix and 50% perlite. That's, that's all I use. And um, I water with a wick, so I always use weighted wicks with my plants. We're going to collect our side shoot, our sucker from Sink's Snowy Egret. And it is a trailing African violet, as you can see. We're just gonna get in here and we're gonna find a little um, uh, crown, sucker crown, and we're just gonna take it out of the plant. So this is the one I'm gonna get right here. So I'm gonna reach in with my um, tweezers and I'm just gonna grab that little crown out of there. So here we go and there we go. Pull it out. I'm going to take some rooting hormone. I'm gonna put it right on the base of the plant. Don't need very much of it, so I just kinda get a little powder coating on there. Rooting hormone promotes um, root growth, of course, and also it has an antifungal in there, so it'll keep uh, your plant from um, getting fungus on it. So. I think it works really actually better than just shoving them into the soil. And let's get this down a little bit. I want it to stay in place. So that's it right there. We have now um, successfully uh, started a propagation for a side shoot or that would be a crown, same thing. And then we're gonna put it in the cloche and if you're interested in these little cloches, uh, I got them from Dollar Tree. So they work pretty good. Oop, 
I forgot one thing, very important. Make sure you put a label on it. So there you have it. Uh, the first two methods, uh, pretty quick, pretty easy, and uh, they both work successfully. You will eventually get a single crowned uh, African violet from this. And if you grow trailers, eventually you'll have multiple crowns. Now let's jump into the uh, meat of this uh, video, and that is uh, propagating where you get multiple crowns from the get-go. Before we jump into the third uh, form of propagation, which is specifically for trailing African violets, I wanna show you the donor plant here that we're going to work with. This plant is called Summer Stars, and I actually bought the original plant from Joe's African Violets. I think this is the name of the person. Um, she has great plants. And when I started this plant, I already had the pot and I had chosen the pot. I knew that I wanted the crowns to be multiple from the get-go. So sometimes when you're growing trailing African Violets, you, your plant will be more wandering and you choose the pot for that. In this case, the pot that I had for my plant uh, sort of inspired me to want to have a mounding plant. And if you look very closely in the center of this plant, you will see that when this plant first started growing, it had multiple crowns. So I very quickly got to this form, very quickly. So if you want to start your plants with multiple crowns, use this system of propagation. If you want your plant to be more wandering or trailing, start with a single crown and then train crowns off of it. I actually think uh, it's better to start with multiple crowns and then if you don't like the way one crown is growing, just take it out. Traditional African violets, you want one single rosette, so this would not be the way to go for traditional African violets, but for trailing African violets, this is the way to go. This is to show you uh, how to propagate specifically for trailing African violets. I'm gonna pick my leaf. I'm going to go with this leaf right here. Um, and I'm just gonna go in there and take it out. There we go. I got my leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it. That's how far I cut my, um, my leaves for uh, propagation. And um, I'm gonna put a little rooting hormone on here. I always, I always put this on here, it, just a little dusting of it. You don't have to use rooting hormone, but um, I always do. Stick my leaf in here. I'm gonna put my label on it. Let the little plantlets grow and uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it starts growing plantlets, okay? Here it is, Summer Stars. Uh, it is now growing babies. As you can see, they're coming off of it. The cutting has taken. So first I'm gonna dig my little cutting up out of the soil and I'll show you that. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the soil here so we have a well-rooted plant, as you can see. And if we flip the back side of this, we should be able to see the way that this cutting is growing. This is our donor leaf right here. Where it goes down into the soil, the cut mark is here, roots form. Young plants, crowns, grow from that root ball. This is one plant right here. This is one individual plant. Now, in traditional African violet growing, we would break this crown off and that would become a plant, and we would break this crown off and that would become a plant. With trailing African violets, you want multiple crowns. So we're not going to break off these crowns Breaking off these crowns and growing them as individual plants is no different than taking a side crown or a sucker off the side of a plant and potting it up. It's the same thing. 
So if we start out with multiple crowns coming from one root system, our plant will grow with multiple crowns from the get-go and we will have a jump start on our trailing African violet. So our next step in propagating for multiple crowns is to remove the donor leaf. The way I remove this donor leaf is with a pair of uh, scissors. I just take a pair of sharp pointy scissors and I go in there and I take the leaf out and I'm going to do that right now. And the first cut that I do, I'm not being very careful. I'm just removing the leaf. Now that I've removed the leaf, I'm going to take out this crown right here. Right like that. I'm gonna toss it. Now I have one, two, three. Yeah, I have three crowns. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot this little uh, plant up and I'm gonna start out my trailing African violet with three crowns. Now I'm gonna pot up my trailing African violet that I specifically propagated to have multiple crowns. Just like that. There we go. I'm going to water it in. And uh, I add a EM1 to my water, uh, something you might wanna look into. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that later on. Um, EM1 is a beneficial bacteria. I add it to my water and I'm really saturating the soil, okay? Make sure that the water that you use to, um, to water in your, um, your African violets is the same temperature as the room. If it's cold, it could shock your plant and it certainly will make spots on your leaves. If you, if you use cold water, it'll, it'll spot your leaves up. So don't do that. I'm going to leave this uh, in the water for about 10 minutes uh, so that I know that the potting soil is nice and wet. I will then take it out and let it drip for a while and then I will put it in one of those uh, Dollar Tree cloches for, eh, I only put them in the cloches for maybe a couple of days. That seems to work for me but my room here that I grow my African violets in has a lot of humidity. This plant now is going to start out with multiple crowns. I don't have to uh, wait for a single crown to produce side shoots. Uh, and this is going to give me a jump start, and it will give you a jump start on your trailing African violets if uh, you use this method. This is the way that I recommend you start out with uh, trailing African violets if you wanna start out with multiple crowns. And that's what it looks like when we first start out. That's, this is actually the plant from the beginning of the video. And our final goal with that one, of course, is to end up with a plant that grows very quickly with multiple crowns right off from the get-go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the video. And thank you for subscribing to the Renaissance Savant.